Do you hear that? I think we have to do something about this. Much better. So welcome to another video. My name is Mario So. And in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about the differences between the different RAW formats that you can get out of your Sony camera. In this specific video, it's going to be about the Sony a7 IV. But other Sony cameras may have similar RAW formats, so some of the basic concepts may apply to that Sony camera too. So Merry Christmas, great to see you back here on the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button for similar content from me. All right, so let's jump into this. If you're here, you're probably wondering which RAW format you should shoot your photos in. So on the Sony a7 IV, we have RAW on compress, raw lossless compress and raw compress. And with the lossless compress format, you also get large, medium and small sizes. So I wanted to find out for myself if there was a significant difference in any of these formats for me to be able to determine which format I should be shooting in. I did some test shots and I'll be showing you the results later on. And I'll be telling you at the end of the video as well, what format I'll be using from now on for pretty much 90% of everything I shoot. So after the Sony a7 IV got its brand new update to version 1.10, Sony introduced the large, medium, and small sizes to the lossless compressed RAW format. Before that, you only had one size, lossless compress, which pretty much mean lossless compress the large format. And that means that you're able to shoot now up to five different types of RAW files on your Sony a7 IV. If you do not see this on your Sony a7 IV, then that's probably because you haven't updated to the latest firmware. I have a couple of videos in the description below or up here that you can go and check out so that you can get your camera up to date. If you are not in version 1.05, then you probably have to update to that first before you can update to the latest one. But you can find all the details on that video. I'll give you all the details you want. Let's first talk about uncompressed RAW. Uncompressed RAW is going to give you the best possible resolution in a photo coming out of your camera. But the drawback is that the file sizes are quite large. The file sizes are going to run you for one photo between 65 to 70 megabytes. But according to Sony, this kind of format retains all the information possible to give you the best possible resolution and quality out of your photo. But is it really what you should be shooting in? We'll find out. Next, we have Compress RAW, which gives you file sizes of about 35 megabytes. And this is a substantial difference in size compared to uncompressed RAW. It's about half the size of those files. And this probably may be one of the main differences why you're looking at potentially not having to shoot in uncompressed RAW. And to make matters a little bit more confusing for the beginner is that we also have the lossless compressed RAW format. According to Sony though, this causes no deterioration in the image. So it retains all the quality possible, but it has a high compression rate that is able to reduce the file sizes in your photos. As of now, we have three sizes of lossless compressed, small, medium, and large. Just like this one, which is probably a small. I'm just gonna have my usual, just a small size. So I took a few photos with a tripod in the same spot with the same lighting conditions in all of these different formats. When comparing uncompressed and compressed raw and also the large size of lossless compressed, I seriously could not see a difference at all. Maybe I'm not just great at pixel peeping, but I tried really hard to find differences and sometimes I felt that I saw a difference because I was trying to really hard intently to see a difference in the photo zooming in at about 300% and I still couldn't really tell if that was an actual difference or if my mind's just playing mind games because I'm intently looking at those photos trying to find a mistake or a difference. But according to the histogram, there is a slight difference in what is captured from the camera for each of these photos because the histogram changes a little bit in terms of the information that it gets. So it seems like there is a little bit of a difference between all of these formats, but to the naked eye and even pixel peeping, I seriously couldn't tell a difference. So you can see from these comparisons that the results are quite similar and even taking into consideration the video compression from YouTube on this video, I still wasn't able to really tell a difference when looking directly at these photos from my monitor. So if there isn't that much of a difference between all of these formats, which one should you really be using? Well, the next thing might help you determine what format to shoot in. So there is a difference when it comes in burst shooting. That means when you're holding down the shutter button and just shooting as many photos as you can. So if you shoot in uncompressed RAW, you only get about six to seven frames per second. And when you shoot in the other formats, you get slightly more, about 10 frames per second. This number is also going to vary and change depending on the subject that you're shooting, the amount of information in the composition or in the frame and how hard the camera has to work to keep the subject in focus and all of that fun stuff. If you're in a situation where you're shooting burst photos to begin with, you probably want as many frames as possible. 
So if there isn't that much of a difference, I personally would just shoot in compressed raw or in lossless compress in the large format because sometimes having those extra frames can be very, very beneficial. These are the results that I was able to find. And for my shooting scenarios, I think that uncompressed raw is probably overkill because of the file sizes and because of that diminishing return in terms of burst shooting. Feel free to comment below and let me know if you found differences between uncompressed raw and compressed raw. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. So next let's talk about lossless compressed raw format. We have three, small, medium, and large. Which one should you be shooting at? So let's first talk about the large format. The file sizes are very similar to compressed raw. The next two formats reduce the resolution of your image. The size of the images that you get in the medium size is 4,608 by 3,072 pixels. And that is about 12 to 13 megapixels. And the file size will be about 20 to 22 megabytes. And in the small format, you get photos that are the size of 3,504 pixels by 2,336 pixels. And that is about eight megapixels. And the file size is a little bit smaller, about 15 megabytes. So between medium and small, I would definitely choose the medium size in situations when I know I don't need to fully crop in that much and I know that I still want raw files and I'll be shooting a lot of photos. But for 90% of my shooting scenarios for photography, I'll definitely would just leave out uncompressed because the file sizes are just too massive to work with. I will probably just shoot in losses compressed large because according to Sony, losses compressed, you don't lose anything. It's not like you'll lose anything. Occasionally, I might switch to the medium size, but large it is. So which format should you be picking? So that will depend on your shooting scenario and what you like to shoot. If you don't care about file sizes and you don't mind having a lower burst speed or frames per second, then you can go ahead and shoot uncompressed. But if you wanted that extra flexibility in the burst mode and you wanted to save a little bit on that file size, then probably losses compressed in the large size or compressed raw would probably work for you. So that's it for this video. I hope it was useful and beneficial to you. If you haven't subscribed and you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well if you enjoyed it and you gained some value. And that's it for today's video. Have a Merry Christmas and I'll see you in the next one.